Uh, so I've chosen a Wild West theme for my project. So there's two node trees here for my separate clips. Uh, so I'll break down this one on the left. Uh, this area is for my final color correction. And uh, I wanted the scene to look dusty and yellowed. Uh, so I've used things like ramps and radials uh, for this. Um, also to add to the dusty look, I've, I've chosen to use particles. Uh, so it's a fairly basic setup. The velocity is turned all the way down to make sure the particles drift like dust should. Uh, and the image itself is a constant layer. Uh, rotoscoped, so it will look like dust particles. Um, so here I have my 3D objects. I've chosen to place three rocks in the foreground. Uh, it's just the same rock, duplicated and rotated and resized. Uh, so you can see I've set up the camera and the spotlight, which is also needed for the particles. Um, and the card hasn't updated to display the correct image, but that's where the 2D image has been brought into the scene. Uh, so for the actual c uh, character, I filmed this in front of the green screen, and so I needed to key uh, that out. Uh, so there's a lot of colour correction here too, uh, all in an attempt to keep that dusty look. Uh, it all keyed rather well using the keyer node, uh, but I did need to clean up the edges a bit uh, using uh, roto paint. Um, so I tracked the character using the built-in tracker. Uh, I needed to choose points that were in the foreground uh, so she would move with the camera changes um, appropriately uh, so considering the points are fairly vague Nuke handled it pretty well uh, and I smoothed off the track slightly too so it didn't jump around so much um, so that was basically the process for this clip and the same principles were used in the other scenes too so this is just a quick look at these which I've needed to key, I've colour corrected and I've also added particle systems to each of them